What's up there guys? Gow the Cone 23 back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be uh, showing off what I picked up today during Record Store Day. That's right, Record Store Day was today, the 18th of April 2015. Uh, which is, if you don't know, is a and which is a day that happens every year that celebrates uh, independent record shops uh, here in the UK and also in the US as well. Uh, and they bring out a different bands release a lot of exclusive stuff, stuff they haven't released on vinyl before, uh, kind of new singles, kind of uh, B sides, rarities, kind of things. And uh, yeah, different stores stock different things. Uh, I actually made a list last night. Uh, if you go to recordstoreday.com, they have a list of all kind of the the all the kind of exclusive stuff that are coming out. And if you search for via uh, if you search for kind of what which stores near you are selling which things, uh, each store has kind of a list of what they're going to be selling. Um, and usually they do stick to that. Sometimes they do get more in. Sometimes they kind of get not as much stuff in. And unfortunately, some of the things that I wanted to pick up, Noah had either they weren't going to stock it at all, or it, or they kind of did get stock in, but people, or they, but they got sold very quickly. I mean, probably the one of the biggest releases is like a a, a, a Foo Fighters. It's like a kind of like a rarities kind of compilation. Uh, apparently, the first place I went to, uh, someone else asked about it, and apparently that, that went in within, within like they had like I think, so they had like four copies in. They all went within like 20, 20 minutes of opening the store. Which is a bit disappointing, uh, but you win some, you lose some. Some of the stuff, I, some of the stuff I didn't want to get, I did get. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of things like the Utopia um, C Series Two soundtrack I wanted to get. Uh, the one place I went to, so they had a few copies in, but um, again, they got sold before I got there. Uh, I mean, yeah, I should have gone early, really. Uh, also, one that I didn't expect to find somewhere, which I did, which is which is which is good. You no know, swings and roundabouts. You can find one thing that you didn't that you weren't really looking for, and they, you know, if like there's one place that aren't selling them, they you might see what you're looking for. So, yeah, got a uh, big uh, got a bigish bag of stuff. I have uh, one, two, five uh, titles, and uh, yeah, from three different places. One, the first place. Well, I, I, I explained what what I bought where. Oh um, yeah, the first uh, item up is the first thing I bought, or at least um, or something from the first store I uh, visited. And it's one that I wasn't expecting to get. Um, I didn't actually know they were releasing this at all during Record Store Day, but uh, I saw this. I'm a big fan, of, big fan of the film. I really like the soundtrack, and I, uh, I got this, and it is... Uh, sorry, but again, I'm going to try and get as less glare as I can, but here we have uh, the Darjeeling Limited uh, soundtrack on vinyl. And that record store day exclusive is what is it? A limited edition 180 gram uh, uh, green vinyl with gatefold sleeve. Uh, some things I don't know if this has been released kind of uh, as a regular edition uh, from kind of before or not. Whether it's uh, whether the exclusive thing is just the the fact that it's green and it's got the gatefold sleeve, or the fact that it's been released and they're just saying that it has the green of green vinyl and uh, gatefold sleeve. But yeah, this is the first thing I picked up from the first store. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, I live in a little, uh, well, kind of a big city actually, uh, the city of York, and uh, three uh, three stores were taking part in Record Store Day uh, this year. I know two of the places um, taking took part last year, but uh, one of the one of the one of the places, which is actually the first place I went to, um, only opened quite, quite quite recently, so obviously they didn't take part last last year, but they were this year. And, uh, to, and to be fair, it was very much, it was better organised there, uh, maybe because it's the first time, because uh, there's another place which I'll explain, it's kind of, because this place kind of like separated the Record Store Day stuff with the other stuff, uh, some places didn't, so they had to kind of like search for all the, I won't say dreck, but all kind of the things you didn't want to get, to find the things you did, you did want to get. But yeah, take all the plastic off, and it's still got a bit of glare, but not quite as much. Uh, which is obviously which is why I'm quite uh, quite far back, so I won't be able to get the <laughs> won't be able to get um, the actual vinyl in shop. Uh, but yeah, ooh, very very cool. Some shots from the film. Uh, there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's the uh, gatefold sleeve. And then we have I'm not going to take the actual vinyl out, but you can kind of see it through the plastic uh, or paper. A kind of see it's green there. So I'm not going to hit the whole thing out because it might damage it. Uh, but yeah, really, really good, uh, re really good soundtrack, and it's cool to own it on uh, on uh, any kind of format, let alone vinyl. But um, I mean, I absolutely, something I didn't explain, I absolutely love, love, love 
the fact that there is a, that there is a uh, resurgence on vinyl these past couple of years. Um, it kind of these weeks kits seem to kind of coincide with the time I actually started collect. Well, started buying vinyl. Uh, it's kind of ironic, or or it might just be a coincidence. I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, but yeah. But yeah, I do, I do buy vinyl. I don't buy like, loads and loads, but uh, and I do lose, usually kind of like know what I'm going to buy before I buy it. Uh, but yeah, there we have the first thing is the Darjeeling, Darjeeling Limited uh, exclusive soundtrack. And the next thing I bought from the same place, I bought three things from there. Uh, is one of the ones I was desperate to get. I'm a big, big, big fan of this band since I saw. I heard one of their songs on a. If you've seen the film Tyrannosaur, one of their songs is the ending song on that on that film. And I wanted to get this. this is, yeah, don't think this has been released at all, uh, which is very, very cool to get. And they had quite a few copies of this left, so I was lucky that. So, uh, so I don't know if that means it's just I just got there early enough, or it's not, or it's just not as popular. But there we go. And it is uh, the what was it the fine art of hanging on by the Leisure Society. And the uh, exclusive uh, limited edition record store day uh, edition on purple silk vinyl, which also includes uh, the download of the uh, of the album as well, which is very very cool. And uh, yeah, uh, the only downside is that they do see do tend to uh, price these quite high, so I did spend a bit more than I wanted to. But there you go. Uh, but I didn't see that, see this anywhere else, so I wanted to get it. So that's the thing. If you know, you kind of. If you want to get something, you'll pay what you need to pay, really. And uh, these aren't going to be around for, they're only going to be around for, for around for a day. And if they so, might get like the old seller on eBay that's selling it for extortionate prices. But oh, that's nice. Get a very nice uh, gatefold and um, kind of the uh, track listing on the inside. It's got a really nice kind of uh, kind of smooth kind of smooth finish to it, which is very very nice. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, there's a bit of damage on the top, which I didn't actually uh, notice till after I bought it, which is a bit disappointing. But there you go. And uh, yep, then we have the uh, what's I? There's the code on there, which I won't show. Uh, so there we have the uh, the well, I don't even know what to call it, but the thing that the vinyl actually comes in. Uh, I have to uh, cover that. Uh, does it say? Yeah, it says kind of the. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, again, I won't take the actual thing out, but I'll just kind of show the top of it. Oh, very nice indeed. We have uh, the purple. Yeah, it looks more blue on um, on camera, but it is purple. Um, yep, so we have the... Uh, so I just don't want to show the code. Uh, then we have uh, the purple vinyl. Ooh, very, very nice. Uh, now, I don't know what quite what is... Um, uh, silk, what is silk about it? But maybe it's just kind of like the type, of, the type of vinyl they use to press it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I mean, I say I do collect, um, or at least buy uh, vinyl. I'm just not kind of clued up on the whole kind of. Uh, I don't really know that kind of the history of it or anything. But, um, but like I say, I just kind of tend to buy what I see really. Uh, so yeah, there we have uh, the Leisure Society. And the last thing I picked up from the first place is. Actually, a I believe kind of a sing. Well, it's a, a sing. It's not an album anyway. I do, I do know that. Uh, but so band I'm very very fond of, and it is uh, Mastodon, uh, called Atlanta. I don't know if this is a uh, a new track or if it's just like kind of an album track that hasn't been released before. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we have uh, Side A featuring Gibby Haynes. Uh, this is a non-album track, so I'm guessing this is kind of a, a new edition of it. Uh, they have Side B, which is an instrumental. Uh, illustration by Brent Hines. The main reason I got this because, as I say, I'm a big fan of Mastodon, and also I love the fact the I knew that I kind of had, yeah, I knew it would have uh, cool artwork, and that is pretty damn awesome. That I do have to say, uh, just came in a little little uh, kind of plastic thing. Uh, you have the uh, record store day exclusive sticker in the corner, and again, I want to take it out so you can actually see it through the through the plastic. But very very cool to have. So I'm a big fan of Mastodon, and there we have it. So yeah, not that much to show on that really, apart from the re actually yeah, I'll show the artwork again just in case you didn't quite see it. Very very cool artwork. I mean, how awesome is that? That's pretty cool. Uh, the artist is a uh, Brent Hines. I think I mentioned before. Uh, yeah, and the uh, next thing I bought from the next shop actually, uh, which they call e oh, yeah, sorry, I bought those from a place called Vinyl Eddies. Uh, I think it's kind of like a. Well, obviously, we've been, we've been independent. They don't have kind of 
ones uh, around the place, but that is, if you want to look it up, you can do. And the one thing that I bought from a place called Earworm Records, which is what the place I went to last year, which I wasn't particularly fond of. Um, they just didn't really, I mean, last year I didn't buy it. I don't think I bought anything that I wanted to. Um, but um, I got this. This isn't, this isn't any kind of part of um, a record store. Now. I just picked it up because it's my favorite electronic uh, artist of all time. And it is the, uh, the Aphex Twin. Um, well, I don't know, it's like a, it's a single, it's kind of a, a few songs from, uh, or uh, there, will be, there would be from Syro, his uh, newest, um, his, uh, newest album, but uh, yeah, it only cost me eight quid as well, uh, brand new obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm a massive, massive, massive fan of Aphex Twin, uh, he's an absolute genius in my opinion, and in quite a lot of people's opinions as well. Uh, yep, so I'll open this as well. Uh, so yeah, this is nothing part of Record Store Day, but uh, I wanted to get it. And they did also have uh, selected ambient works, I think volume 2 might have been volume 1, but I didn't really want to uh, uh, pick that up to be quite honest. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to pick this up, and to my knowledge it's the only place that's selling it. Um, as far as I know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, so yeah, it's just, uh, just a regular vinyl. It's, uh, So yeah, it's just a it's just a black vinyl, so nothing. Obviously, I'm going to show the whole thing. But yeah, it's kind of disappointing. So I went in there and I kind of asked them whether they had the uh, the Utopia Series Two soundtrack. They said um, they had like quite a few copies in, but they all sold, which is disappointing. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, and also, I was looking for um, get back in the uh, they were selling the. Um, soundtrack of the movie Frank but unfortunately nowhere near me was, was selling it which is a bit disappointing or if there were they must have sold out but um, I did check on the on the kind of the website of each store and they didn't and nowhere listed it so that was a bit unfortunate but uh, so that's another thing I really wanted to get but um, there you have it I suppose I can't have everything uh, I'm not gonna cry about it you know it's kind of a little bit annoying and the last thing I picked up for record store day um, is a uh, vinyl I bought from a place called uh, the Inkwell, uh, which is another one that I went, or that I was going to go to last year, but um, I kind of didn't know kind of the whole thing. And you to, if you go, uh, you kind of have to go early to get the good stuff. And I went there and they were kind of like playing music, and they were like it was just too full. There were people kind of filing out the doors, so I thought there's no point going in. So I didn't bother going in there last year, but uh, I went there earlier this year. Not many people in there, and it's. Uh, and it's one that I, another one that I wanted to get. And actually, when I bought this uh, from the guy, the guy who owns the store, actually said that he didn't actually know that he'd got any of these in. Uh, so I, I think I'm quite lucky that I found this. But it's one of the one things I really wanted to get, and it is uh, John Grant live from the BBC uh, with the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, so I've, yeah, BBC Philharmonic uh, live in concert which is a BBC recording. But yeah, this is one of the, the kind of the main wants for me. Uh, massive, massive fan of John Grant. I actually love his voice, just love his music, just love it, everything about him really. And it is a live recording with the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, includes uh, GMF, Mars and Pale Green Ghosts. Uh, a record door, a record store day exclusive. Don't know if you can actually read that, but that's what it says. Uh, limited edition silver vinyl, which includes a download as well, which is very cool to see. I love the kind of the simplicity of that, where it's just his face on the kind of a, a green a kind of black background. I really do like that. Um, yeah, obviously, like I said, like the this, the really fate, the really kind of uh, well known stuff like Foo Fighters that went in very very quickly, which I would, I, which I was expecting, which was expecting anyway. Uh, one thing that I didn't buy that I wish I had done on retrospect is because I'm looking on Digital Spy earlier, and they do kind of like a top ten. Um, uh, kind of best thing to pick up video and it was on there it was um the maccabees uh 2008 album i can't remember what it was called apparently it's like uh it's like um like individually numbered and also had kind of other extras as well which i wish i would have got but again there you go i'm not going to go back and get it it's pointless and then there's just uh the uh download code on the back there uh yeah and uh, i'm not going to take it but take it all out but i'll just kind of like show you the show you the inside if i can if you can see that, I'm gonna have to uh, go on my not even peripheral vision because I can see nothing when I'm doing that. Uh, yeah, it kind of 
she kind of shows you where kind of the different artists doing the different uh, things. And then we have just the regular, and uh, it was also ooh, very very nice. You have the silver. It's quite see a bit see through as well actually, if you get it in the right light. Uh, yeah, but uh, very cool to have indeed. Um, again, don't think it's been released on anything. Uh, it might have been on CD, possibly. I'm not quite sure, but. Um, I've said not quite sure about 50 times in this video, so I do apologise. Uh, then we have the other one, which is exactly the same, so I'm not going to take it all out. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, I'm going to listen to this one tonight, actually. Really looking forward to uh, uh, checking out that. And that was uh, John Grant live from the BBC. And that was my record store day 2005, uh, 2015 pickups. Uh, so yeah, a lot of good stuff. Uh, some got some stuff that I really wanted to get. I didn't get some of the stuff that I really wanted to get as well, which is a bit disappointing, but again, I'm not gonna cry about it. You win some, you lose some. Um, it, that's the name of the game, really. Um, uh, so yeah, like I said, I just love, love, love the fact that the, the people are buying vinyl now. They've now started a, a vinyl um, album chart as well. I think last, I think kind of last year they sold, was it like 1.7 or 1.9 million uh, vinyls last year? Which is really cool to hear. Uh, it's just, it, I just, there's something about vinyl that you can't kind of replicate with CDs or downloads. Um, it's just, it, it's a different, it's a different game really. But um, it's a game I love to play. Uh, yeah, so that is what I picked up. We have John Grant with the BBC BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. We have uh, Aphex Twin. Um, it's, I think it's like Japanese singles again. That's not part of Record Store Day, but I picked it up anyway. So I thought I might as well show it in this video. Then we have uh, Atlanta by Mastodon. And then we had uh, Leisure, uh, the, uh, the Fine Art of Hanging On by the Leisure Society. And then we have uh, the Darjeeling Limited original soundtrack. So yeah, that was my pickups. Uh, like I say, some good stuff I think. Uh, so I'm going to listen to that John Grant thing a bit later on. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. Um, yeah, I can't wait for Record Store Day next year. I'm going to be more prepared next year, I think. Um, I'm going to kind of like... Uh, I, mean, I, did, I actually made a list of things uh, that I could buy from certain shops. Um, I actually kind of listed the shop and what I could buy from there, from the list that they had. Um, but yeah, definitely the first place I went to, it was definitely the best kind of laid out. They separated all the Record Store Day stuff from the from the other stuff. They had like two, they had like two tables full, which is really cool to see. Um, so yeah, that, I'm definitely going to be going there next year if it's still open. Hopefully it will be. Uh, it's a really good place though. Really, really cool people to talk to and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm that about to do for this video, I think. So yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Recordstoreday.com for um, any information you may want. I know it's probably kind of late for this year because it will fit because it'll finish by the time this video goes up. Uh, but yeah, I hope if you bought anything, uh, please do comment down below. I uh, hope you got what you wanted. And uh, yeah, this video has gone on for far too long. So uh, yeah, thanks as always for watching. Have a great day.